Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. I'm back out in beautiful West Virginia. I know it's been a while since I've made a video. It's been a real busy start to the summer. In fact, it's been a real busy year and I just completely lost traction with the video making. But that's going to change next month. We're going to get back into the swing of things. I even have some new equipment for making videos to address some of the comments and complaints you guys have had in the past with shaky video and poor quality. I'm shooting this video on a new GoPro Hero 5 Black Edition action camera and I purchased the companion Karma Grip Gimbal which looks like a very large mag light flashlight and the camera sits on the top and it allows you to move around and it keeps the camera real stable and steady. So hopefully this will improve my video quality and not make so many people sick as I'm walking around here at the retreat and taking radios out into the field. I'm out here at the retreat this weekend because today is field day in amateur radio. This is the day where amateur radio operators or ham radio operators take to the field with their radios to test out their generators, their solar panels, their equipment to emulate emergency operating conditions. And they try to make contacts all over the world, all over the country in different modes, FM, AM, sideband, digital modes, commercial power, solar power, generator power, and today I'm going to operate HF voice with the ICOM IC7300, but I'm going to run my station in emergency power mode. And for those of you who follow my channel, you'll be familiar with my off-grid solar power system here. And for those of you who are not, I'll do a quick overview. But this is our off-grid solar power system out here at the cabin in West Virginia. I have three Kurosia KU265 panels. Everything is local to this position. I convert DC voltage to AC voltage. And then I feed it down to the cabin on a very large extension cord, which I just drag across the hill here when I need it. And that plugs into the side of the cabin into a outlet next to the meter connected to a six breaker manual generator transfer switch. And I'll show you that in a moment. And that transfer switch allows me to toggle six of my circuit breakers in the cabin between commercial or line and emergency power. The switch is designed with the idea that you'll hook up a generator outside your house, but instead of a generator, I'm actually just connecting off-grid solar power. We'll go here, we'll walk over to the system, and I hope I don't make you sick as I learn to adjust this gimbal, and show you the components inside the Hoffman box here. We'll come down here. Right there is a Morningstar TS-MPP-T60 charge controller, and the DC voltage from the panels comes down into the charge controller and then the charge controller converts that power into charging voltage and current and feeds that over to four Trojan T105 RE flooded lead acid batteries and these are configured in series parallel to create a 12 volt battery bank. These are six volt batteries. The power from the batteries comes back up into the Hoffman box and powers this 1500 watt pure sine wave DC to AC inverter. So I bring 12 volts in on the back and on the front side I get 120 volts AC which I couple down to this plug which goes to the extension cord down to the cabin there. Some of the other components I have in the box here I have this buck power supply, this silver module you'll see here and that converts voltages, DC voltages, from 9 volts to, I think, 19. and gives me a steady 5 volts out. And I use that 5 volts to power an old Linksyst Wi-Fi bridge, which connects to the charge controller here, the Morningstar. So I can access this remotely over the Internet and check the status of the system. Or if I need to equalize the batteries, I can do that without coming out here. Next to that is a... Sorry, next to the buck power supply is a temperature controlled relay switch and I actually changed the temperatures here to keep the fans off while I make the video. And I set that to turn on when the air inside the box gets hot to activate the exhaust fans and the cooling fans and then when the box cools off it shuts the fans off. 
I could only find a model that did Celsius, so that's why you see those lower numbers. But I try to turn the fans on at about 95 degrees inside the box, and then I'll let it run to the box temperature drops down to, I think, below 80. And that just helps keep air moving through here and protect the electronics. We had the system up and running now for a little over a year. I got my inspection sticker here from the county. So this was inspected on 4 2017 So that's our small off-grid solar power system. That's what I'm going to use to run my HF radio today for amateur radio field day. We'll send the 120 volts down to the house over this heavy-duty extension cord. And I have the transfer switch inside setting all the living room outlets to solar power. And that's where the power supply is for the radio and the radio. So let's walk down to the cabin and I'll show you the transfer switch and the radio. All right, we got that all buttoned up. We're gonna walk down to the cabin. If you follow the channel, last year I had a pad here and I was gonna build a pole barn and we wound up getting a pre-made shed for extra storage. But if you guys have time, leave a comment. And let me know what you think about the video quality. As you can see, I'm walking down a pretty rocky path here. And I'm curious to see how stable this gimbal I'm using keeps the camera in the video. Because when I tried to do this before, it was very shaky. It didn't look very good. So I'm hoping this gimbal is worth the money because it wasn't cheap. But I did want to up the quality of my videos for the channel here. I still have to learn how to work all the buttons on here to make the transitions more smooth. I actually, walk over here to the outlet to show you that. Sorry about the air conditioner noise. So that's the plug there. This is the AC voltage coming down from the off-grid solar power system. But this is really designed to take an input from a, a generator, an emergency generator. And we'll pan up here so you can see the panels. And all I do is when I get up here is unroll this extension cord, plug it into the box, and bring it down to the cabin plug it in if I want to use it. When I'm done, I roll it up real neat and I hang it on the back side here on this uh, hose reel so the critters don't chew on it. So let's head inside and we'll show you the transfer switch. So here's our generator transfer switch. This is a Reliance Pro Train Model 31406C six circuit breaker switch. And as you can see here, I have line, off, and generator. So these three circuits here are all in the line position, getting power from the commercial source. On the left-hand side, which are labeled up top here, living room outlets, bedroom and bath lights, living and kitchen lights are all on the generator position. So we're actually pulling power down from the off-grid solar power system. So to demonstrate that, I'll go ahead and throw the B switch here and the light went off here overhead in the ceiling and I'll go back to the line position that's commercial. So if we had a power outage I could go from line to off which isolates the circuit from the system and then bring it up to the generator position. So right now I have these three circuits running off the off-grid solar power. Breaker A is providing all the AC power to the living room outlets which is powering the ICOM IC7300 and we'll walk out there and show you that. So there you have it. The ICOM IC7300 HF radio being powered by the sun with our small off-grid solar power system there. Between making the video up by the system and coming in, the band seems to have died. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to make any contacts. That's okay, we'll go ahead and wrap up the video. I'm glad I was able to at least get a video made this weekend. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper, talking about field day, off-grid solar power, emergency communications, and I will get back into the swing of things and start making more videos more regularly here on the channel. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below and let me know what you think of the new camera and this gimbal system. I'm kind of rocking the gimbal back and forth now. I do hope this makes a really big improvement here in the video quality on the channel. Thanks for watching everybody.